tonight on J Lo's Garage. A million dollar car, I'll give it a tap. This is a little tapperoo. Tap it in. But not too much, because today we're using ridiculous power to reach even more ridiculous speeds. First, Post Malone and I get an exclusive look at one of the fastest production cars on the planet. We cruising now! Next, living legend Danica Patrick comes out of retirement to test a rare track-only Aston Martin. I'm gonna try and burn these tires out. Then we'll cruise at Stranger Speeds with Stranger Things star Gaten Matarazzo. It's like 80s fast. It's pretty fast. Wrap it all up with Reggie Watts and a peek at tomorrow's high-tech electrified future. Speed for speed all the way. And we've somehow crammed all this amazing stuff into one single episode. Isn't that amazing? You look like a god, Jay Leno. Ah, yes, yes. Flattery will get you everywhere. Let's go! About 40 miles north of Los Angeles, you'll find a sleepy little town surrounded by the serene wilderness. Oh, screw that. Hey, it looks like our guests have showed up. Post Malone, how you doing, my friend? How are you, Jay? Good to see you. Good yes, sir. You. Now, you might not think I have a lot in common with Post Malone, because, well, he's a Grammy-nominated musician with a signature sound and signature face tats. But for all the success, Post is just a regular guy who owns and loves to drive fast cars. And he's brought a real beauty here today and the CEO from the company that engineered it. John, I'm very impressed with your customer base. It's well, yeah, you know. You're very upscale now, <laughs> huh? Yeah, absolutely. Very cool, and the car looks beautiful. Thank you. This is the Venom F5, a $2 million hypercar designed and built from the ground up by Hennessy Performance Engineering. It's a rear mid-mounted 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine. In F5 mode, it can unleash more than 1,800 horsepower and nearly 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a chassis and body made almost entirely of carbon fiber, and it's all designed to break the production car land speed record, with Hennessy's ultimate goal being to reach 311 miles per hour. Well, this looks just beautiful. And to me, I know a manufacturer is serious about building a supercar when they build their own engine. This is a bespoke block. It's, this is an yeah, engine the engine is scratch. the heart of the car, the heart of the beast. We actually nicknamed the engine Fury. Right. And uh, it's furious with a little over 1,800 horsepower. So 6.6 .6 liter twin turbo V8, running about 22 pounds of boost. And uh, it's quite a weapon. Wow. So rear wheel drive only, correct? Rear drive, mid-engine rear drive with Four. traction control. Well, that's sort of the classic American thing. I mean, you know, I like rear wheel only because I can, I can, you know, hang the tail out a Absolutely. little bit and have some fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Paul, you, you, you've had a lot of experience. You've got some powerful cars, right? Sure, yes, sir. You have Bugatti Chiron? Is yeah, that... I just had, I had a Chiron. I just sold it because I'm absolutely terrified to drive that car. Yeah, it's yeah. very fast. <laughs> well, the fun thing is, I like American-made stuff. I hate it when I hear something can't be completed because they're waiting for parts from Asia or somewhere else. I mean, when you make it here, you just don't have those supply chain problems. Well, our owners, they own the Chirons, they own Pagani's and Koenigsegg, so the edict to our supply chain and to our design team was like, this car at a minimum had to be on that level right. to sit next to your Chiron sure. in your collection. And I think our guys have done a great job and executed in a, in a very high level. Now, you've got some Hennessy vehicles, sure, right? Sure, yes, sir. He made me a nice uh, six by six Raptor. Oh, oh, yeah, the six wheel Raptor. Yeah, and you need awesome. that in LA yeah, because the, the roads yeah, are so bad. Yes, you need two extra wheels. <laughs> <laughs> now, Post, you're going to get to drive this today. What do you think? Um, I'm excited and terrified at the same time. I don't want to break nothing. No, no. <laughs> but I'm I'm super pumped. This thing is super epic, and you guys know a lot about cars. I just know. Uh, Let me ask you a question. It goes faster. Don't go fast. <laughs> I know. I know. As a comedian. Sure. I write when I'm in my car because I'm by myself. I can yell jokes out and, and hear if they sound right. right. It's really where I do most of my creative work. Sure. Do you do that in an automobile yes, at all? Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, in the car, in the shower, or on the can. Just don't do all three of those in the car at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All three together. But yeah, I definitely agree. You know, I'm, I'm, 
I'm a shy guy, so I, and especially when it comes to like creative stuff. So that's I like being alone in the car. Yeah, you I don't, don't want anybody else hearing it. Yeah, before no, it's most definitely not. That's right. I mean, it's when not you're trying out a joke, you're totally going, "No, that's stupid." It's not. <laughs> yeah. That's not finished. <laughs> it's, it's you know, not you want to just yet. be able to shout it and work Very it out much so. and just get because you have to. You have to hear your own lyrics to right. know if they're any good. Very right? much so, yeah, yes, sir. And I, you know, I don't play no music in the car usually, so no, really? I can just kind of yeah, I can just kind of like sing my ass off like nobody's watching. Yeah, no, so. I think that's great. I think that's great. Yeah. Well, very cool. Well, uh, can we uh, take this thing for a ride? Let's go drive it. Let's give it a shot. Oh All right. yeah, sounds good. Now, a car with an engine as powerful as this should only be tested in a closed track. Luckily for us, we're on one. Let's get situated here and see what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm the first to get a shot behind the wheel just to make sure everything's running OK. Well, this car handles very nicely. Does it feel good? It feels good. The braking's very good. I can stay within six inches of that camera without hitting the car. You should just give it a tap. Yeah, that's what that's what we'll do. <laughs> a million dollar car, I'll give it a tap. Just a little taparoo. Tap it in. Now, Post, what was your first car? It was an 83 Crown Victoria <laughs> with, with brown velour. The Crown Vic, you know, was the last car to have a cassette player. Mine definitely had one. I, I needed it to play uh, music in it. <laughs> now, who were you listening to back in the day? I don't know, like Hank Sr., um, Tupac, Metallica, all that everything. And what was the first car you bought when you had some success? It was a S550. Oh, OK. It was an S550. I had always wanted a nice Mercedes, and that was the first one. So you like to be comfortable? Yeah, I like to be comfortable. You know, I like styling, profiling, and taking it easy. I love every every music possible, and I love every single car. Every car has its beauty, you know? You just got to mix it up. You know, you feel different every day, so you never know what you want to take out. And what was the first car you bought when you really got successful? Oh, man. Probably the Aventador. I bought a SV Roadster, and I love that car, man. It's it's so pretty. It's very much so hard to get in and out of, but it's worth it. And the doors, I think, was what it was that sold it for me, so. How old are you now? I'm 26. I love the fact you're 26, and you think it's hard to get in and out of. Wait till you're, <laughs> wait till you're 72. You're not 72. I'm 72. You look like a god, Jay Leno. Oh, yeah, buddy. You want to give it a shot? Oh, I mean, yeah, I would absolutely love to. <laughs> Let me pull over here, and we'll, uh, okay. we'll change place. You kind of got the feel of the track a little bit here. Yes, so. sir. Yes, sir. Behind the wheel, you really appreciate the raw power of this ultra-high-powered Hennessy V8. But the big question now, how will Post like it? There we go. <laughs> Coming up to a straightaway here. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can put your foot in a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, apply the brakes now. Okay, there you go. You got it. Excellent. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I'm trying. I'm trying. We, we cruising now. <laughs> Shift it in a second. Doing good. Press those brakes so you get a chance to feel what they feel like. Hit it, step on it as hard as you can, just yeah. to get Yeah. OK. So now you, so now you get a little bit of feel. Yeah. All right, yeah. go ahead. OK, now you're back in first. Doing good. OK, there you go. There you go, got it. Uh-huh, we bad, we bad. That's what it is, too. I never thought I'd have Jay Leno teaching me how to drive manual. <laughs> I see a rap song coming out of this somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we cruising now. Uh-huh, we bad. <laughs> this is a this is a fantastic vehicle. You gotta do this more often. I'd agree. Helps your creative juices. Yeah, this is good. It's good clearing the mind, good clearing the brain. Oh yeah. But besides all the hit records and the success, it's amazing what a down-to-earth car guy post really is. 
Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more clips, previews, and compilations of things we've done on the show. So check it out.